On the streets of Athens last night, voters celebrated after 61% of Greeks rejected new austerity terms for fresh financial aid from the country's European and IMF creditors. It was a victory for the governing Tsaritsa party and its leader, Alexis Tsipras, who said his country had made a brave choice by rejecting the bailout terms. Last night, he said the country must now move forward with negotiations and a strong national front must be created to seek an immediate solution. But that solution may be harder to find than Mr Tsipras imagines. The country's relations with its creditors have hit a new low, and the referendum results have thrown Greece's membership of the Eurozone into further doubt. Alexis Tsipras will now have to continue those negotiations without his finance minister. In a blog post entitled Minister No More, Yanis Varoufakis announced his decision to resign early this morning. He said he had been made aware that some members of the Eurozone considered him unwelcome at meetings of finance ministers. But while this crisis plays out on the world stage, life for ordinary Greeks is getting worse. The banks, which have been closed for a week, are not expected to reopen until Tuesday at the earliest. A 60 euro daily limit on ATM withdrawals remains in place, and pensioners face uncertainty about whether they can cash in their retirement benefits. So now Alexis Tsipras faces huge pressure to get Greece a better deal on new finance and to save his country from a banking collapse.